Hey, it's Phil from Sound Assured, and today we're talking about transmission loss. And transmission loss is equal to the sound pressure level at the source side of the wall. So if the noise is coming from the outside of your house into your house, that this would be the SPL on the outside of your house. And then you subtract that from the SPL at the receiver side. So the receiver side would be inside your house because you're inside your house listening and that's where the noise is being received. So let's say we have 80 decibels outside and then you have your house wall right here and on the inside the measurements 35 decibels. In this case, TL would be 80 minus 35, which would give us 45 dB for the transmission loss. So as the sound was passing from the outside here, through this wall to the inside, 45 decibels worth of sound were able to be blocked by that wall structure. And now one thing to note about um, the relationship of the mass of this wall. So say we have a graph right here. We got transmission loss on this side. and wall weight over here. So something with like a light wall weight would maybe mean like a moving blanket where you create like a um, like a makeshift vocal booth in your room, like a moving blanket or like a foam. Whereas you start getting into wood, you get heavier weight and then you get up into concrete and then you get into steel with even heavier weight. So the transmission loss for a material like foam or those moving blankets is not going to be very, very high, but as you get into things like steel, it gets to be higher. The heavier the material, the more sound it's going to block. And then also, if we have another graph, TL over here and thickness, wall thickness, the thicker the wall, the higher the transmission loss is going to be.